Once you log into the cloud platform, you are taken to the overview page. Here you see the many icons and buttons that help you to easily navigate through the platform. Let's explore these options. On the top left corner of the page, you see the Module Launcher. Module Launcher helps you to go to any specific module within the platform. Here you will notice Modules, Design, Studio, Inbox, Insights, Engage, Channels, and Integrations. For example, if you click on the Studio module it will take you to the Studio module where you have all the options to build and configure a bot. Next on the Overview page, you will find the bot list. You can find the list of bots you have access to, and here you have the option to create a new bot as well. The Active Channels section shows the list of channels that are integrated. Add Channel will take you to the Channels module where you can configure the channel of your choice. You will see quick links to the most popular modules within the platform. These are shortcuts to respective modules. The Bot Speaks section shows the list of languages configured for the bot. The default language is always English. The search box helps you to find knowledge articles related to the platform features from the platform documentation portal, docs.yellow.ai. With help, you can get help related to the platform from the MIA bot, community portal, documentation portal, and a quick guided tour. Use MIA bot to post questions. Any questions related to the platform, request to speak to an expert, or even share your feedback. If you need help from an expert, post your questions in our community portal. Our platform specialists and fellow community members will help you resolve your issues. If you need an initial set of tips on how to use the platform, use the guided tour. This will help you through the bot builds a workflow, step by step. Next, we have the bot development environment, sandbox, staging, and production. In the sandbox environment, you build the bot, in the staging environment, you do the UAT testing and finally publish the bot to production. On Marketplace, you can find ready-to-use templates for a variety of use cases. This saves developers a great deal of time to build a bot. Just search for a use case, preview the flow, and install the flow into the bot. Access Control lets you provide users with role-based access control over the bot. All you have to do is provide the email identifier and select the corresponding permissions. You can select multiple permissions for a single user. Click API key to create new API keys, which may be used to integrate external applications with the bot. Bot permissions provided to you can be found in the notification. Just select accept the invitation and start using the bot. The configuration options provide options for changing the bot name, industry, time zones, bot description, as well as an option to temporarily pause a bot. The profile section allows you to manage your profile by adding an avatar and changing the default language. Here you can also check the subscriptions you have access to, bot invites, bot access requests you made, and also bot publish approvals requests if you own a bot.